<laughs> Hello peoples. We've got ourselves a gameplay here. I am going to go briefly over the patch. There's not a whole lot to talk about. It was mostly, they added two uh, main things. Uh, the first one was the fact that you can now buy weapon skins for your weapon. They're basically, it's basically some, uh, some right now just uh, solid color paints. It's really kind of half done right now. They are overpriced. They are not very good looking. The only exception, there's like two exceptions. It is the healing guns for the two defenders because they have some elements of the weapon still colored, not just solid gold or something. And Spark's sword, his looks pretty nice because it recolors blade team color instead of again being solid gold or solid silver or whatever. And last, there is the tea stool for the veteran that he can get, which is an actual tea stool from the tea time taunt, sort of a recursive use of uh, game assets there. I guess they use this original stool he had for the tea set, then they use that tea set for his taunt, so sort of a loop there. And the other big change was the uh, very, very small balance changes. They reduce Assassin's melee damage back to where it was before. The commandos uh, now have their own lunge cooldown of 1.5 seconds, whereas the veteran and Cheston have the old two seconds nerf still in place. And Carl got his ult fire on a higher cooldown. I still think it's a little ridiculous. They probably need to just. Uh, I don't, I'm not quite sure. I don't play. I don't play Carl enough, but I don't think it's quite enough. You can still just spam it with his uh, primary fire and do a lot of damage. But I'm sure they'll think of something. That's about it. Not it's it's a bigger patch, and it sounds like there were more skins added and all that, but it's just not a whole lot of uh, changes to speak of right now. But we'll see what they do with the weapon system in the future. I think it's got a lot of potential. But we're gonna get right to this gameplay here. Uh, I'll say something right now. The team we're playing against, their veteran, is had a bad connection that night. He tried his best with this game, but I know the previous game we played this team, they lost because the veteran had disconnected before he even got into the game. He didn't join like halfway, so he's had a connection issues. So that gave us a, uh, definitely a bit of an edge there, especially when you consider how important veteran is in games. Having that uh, latency can definitely kill you if you're not used to it. So just a little uh, disclaimer there. But I wanted to show off this game because it shows off uh, what you can do to how to react to annihilators. Right here, I am playing Wascot, and I am going with a more. Uh, we have two uh, commandos in this game. Our Spark is doing more of the roaming thing. I was playing very conservatively in the early games, sort of just sitting there killing bots. Because you can't have both players. You can't have both players uh, roaming around. And it sort of hurts your laning. And I tend to play more conservatively in most cases anyway. Except right there, I went ahead and uh, went Tower Doe for that uh, support. Because that was an easy kill, and I definitely was. I think my setup for products this game was definitely cancel this. Uh, Don Newman is quite the uh, quite the gunslinger, so definitely a important important product to have in most cases, but particularly in this case. And then I was using uh, Money Magnet, I believe Hot Hands, my little load up there. And if you look here, I'm gonna get grappled by I think I'm gonna get grappled by the veteran at some point. You can see his weapon using right there. He uses the new. You see how just solid color that is. It's, uh, it's fairly ugly. I don't know if he bought it or if he got it as a prize. You can't get them as prizes of the game, but uh, these do not look good to me. Just solid color, no details on it. Hopefully it's a work in progress. I got out of there. Uh, I was getting low on life. Unfortunately, I ran into a Fuji bot. Almost died there. Luckily, our combat girl was on it. So I go ahead back to heal. At this point, we're talking in chat. We decide that, well, we had a good team fight in the bottom there. It's, it was too early to make it a decisive fight for the Annihilator, so we decided to go ahead and start going for their towers instead of uh, dedicating to the Annihilator. I think it works out at the end that we actually uh, see. I see them all down there. I checked their their turret right now. It's pretty pushed up there, so we decided to go for that. Let them have the little setup for the annihilator if they want to. We'll take the uh, turret. See, so, yeah, a teammate already firing on. I'm going to swing in there with that. Uh, right there is fire chest, and I was going to fire at the shady bot and get it down real fast. I think the other one's going to go down as well. Well, they're sort of still stuck down there with the annihilator. I think we go for the Annihilator, besides we, you know, take two turrets down so we can, you know, we can handle the Annihilator, you know, by this point as well. But at this point they're too entrenched. I look down there, they're all down there. It's pretty hard to uh, do anything. 
I try to sort of uh, harass the try to harass the gunslinger cheese and poke down there and sort of get in the headshots off. Just trying to take down my assault abilities back there. I go ahead and use shitty shovel is a nice way to sort of harass a sharpshooter. It hurts their accuracy, hurts their damage. I go down here, try to get a kill on the Cheston. A little of a risky dive down there. There's one uh, combat key, there's usually a lot of other ones. At this point, I sort of bail out of there. Got to watch it with the Gunslinger. Again, we try to go for that... We try to go for that, uh, Annihilator, but... It just, in the end, there's just uh, too many of them. I decide to go ahead, I pop ship, I pop Party Pooper, give any of my teammates still down there a chance to get out without taking too much damage, and I go ahead and I decide to head straight for my base. My HP's not that low, but once the Annihilator goes off, it will be lower. At this point, they're killing a few more of us, so... I'm sort of hanging back now. It's, it looks pretty bad. I go down there just to peek, see what's going on. Uh, there's too many of them. I could, you know, stun or something, but that's really going to not do a whole lot. I decide to head back towards the base. It's hard to say how much damage the Annihilator will do. It depends on the level of the guy using it, so better safe than sorry. I guess at some point, someone decided to harass him again, but they died, so it's really not worth it. Throw away your life like that. But we go ahead and we summon bots. I go ahead and summon a bouncer. We were so pushed up at that point that this really does not hurt us at all. The bouncer will discourage him a little bit, and you see here the Fuji bot's going to nicely line up and stop that the bot wave, so we're pretty much just a little pushed back, otherwise doing pretty fine. I think there's a tower here eventually, but I see right here just a smart use of bot summoning, and you can really you can really recover from it. I know players go through a sort of a cycle. At first, they don't know what the annihilator is. They undervalue it. They sort of just uh, have no idea what's going on. They buy bots right before the annihilator goes off, and then later you learn about it. You overvalue it. You sort of throw yourself at the enemy. You feed them a lot. You try and get an annihilator, you can't win. Really, the annihilator is a tool, and you just have to know when to use it. When to go for it, when not to go for it. I know the game gets uh, goes on longer and longer, comes becomes more important, but you know, get careful. Um, I should have gotten in front of my teammate there. Unfortunately, he died of the headshot. I was backing off from that scrambler, but should have. Uh, you got to watch out for your teammates. And right here, just setting up. Uh, I think our combat girl setting up some cats here to take care of this lane, and just trying to push right now as hard as possible. Right there, my positioning was, I was very lucky. Watch your positioning, look, watch the enemy going for those ejectors. That ejector can push you off the edge if you're in the right spot. Luckily, I was not. I know if you jump, you can avoid getting pushed back by it, but lag and stuff can, uh, can screw that up. I just gonna go down here, get some armor and stuff, get a little bit of uh, experience. Don't wanna hang down there too long. I make a big mistake here going for this Carl. Carl's got incredible DPS, but he doesn't need it. He can just stun me. And I can easily die. You can signal his teammate to hit uh, overclock, and I easily go down. Um, I'm not sure what I was thinking there. I guess he was lower in health than I thought. But in the end, you have to look at it, see, uh, analyze, and get an idea of what's going on there. I could have easily backed out. Only real threat there was the fire base. The Carl probably would not have been too aggressive. I'm assuming his health is lower than normal because otherwise, I probably would have gone for that kill. At this point, since I died, might as well go ahead and check for the Fuji bots. Uh, look at the timer. Uh, since we had a very recent uh, annihilator, I decided to go ahead and summon some of those Fuji bots. Don't summon too early because you don't want to just end up, you know, wasting your money. And the cooldown. At this point, this lane is pretty well saturated with cats, so I don't need to worry about pushing it too hard. So I'm gonna go back down into the jungle, looking for some bots there. Yep. There's some scramblers, or not scramblers, uh, gremlins. Gonna go down here, kill the gremlins. Poke back here, see what I can do. This is kind of a hard area to harass from, as long as that tower still up. I checked it, saw the shield was still up, so we can really damage. So I'm gonna go ahead, kill the scrambler, and head back up. Probably should go to the, go to the other lane, since that doesn't have the whole you know, army of cats to help it, but I think we probably take this tower down. But there are scramblers coming, so I back off. Just be very careful about the scramblers. Make sure you be eye on them. Right here. As I thought, this is a good lane to push out of those cats at all. They had double double Fuji, so gonna help our help our salt take those down. I think the next annihilator is up. 
got a team fight down here in the bottom. Looking real bad though, so I'm gonna go ahead and just bail out of there. This direction might have been a bad idea. Hit this way, cause they were but I knew they were all down there, and they weren't gonna chase because they wanted an annihilator. Because they are behind right now, they're very pushed up, so I decided to go ahead and go for the tower. My a spark went ahead with me. Um saw there's kind of, I saw a bit of them on team vision and decided to go ahead and uh, bail out of there before they came back to defend their tower because I knew once the tower went down they were going to you know attack us. That's my teammate in trouble so I decided to go ahead and try to try to help him out. But he was already dead so I knew how to get out of there. Picked up a quick gunslinger because your health was low. This is a demo replay, not a actual live gameplay replay, so unfortunately some of the things are missing. Like those cats are of course our cats, even though they're, they're uh, hot shots colored. I try not to do demo replays, but sometimes you get a good game and you just not replay the time. So I thought it was worthwhile to do a demo replay here. So I really wanted to show off some uh, things you can do in games. Right here, so I to back off. If you're not sure the angle of a sharp shooter is coming from, go ahead and just you know back off for a second. She decided to go down. Not not a good idea. I didn't even waste the uh, clear out shuffle because if she grapples me, that means the assault gets a nice can get a free head grab he wants to, or just you know shoot her up. And we get a free we get because they're you know half their teams at this point, so we get an annihilator easily. But even we did get the annihilator, we're so pushed up at this point. By the time our bots even uh, respawned, we'd be about at the sort of halfway point. So, like I said, the Annihilator is important, but it's not... Don't overestimate it. It's not the game the game winner you think it is all the time. A good team knows how to recover from it. And even this team right here, there's fight being beat back a lot. They you know, spawn their bots and they get back into it. We don't just take their last two towers immediately. At this point, it's just a matter of, you know, slowly whittling down the uh, turret. I decided not to go straight to the healing thing. I decided to back up a little bit because I know that sharpshooter is watching us. And go ahead and uh, heal myself real quickly here. And just at this point, as a commando, it's kind of hard to really do a whole lot. Just I'm just focusing on killing bots, letting our bots get in there and take a few shots here and there. Eventually, you'll whittle down the turret, worst case scenario. You can't actually attack it yourself. So just keep killing bots. I was looking for a uh, backdoor opportunity here at some point in the future. I think back here I... Shoot up here, yeah. This spot's nice, especially a spark to harass from. However, the, the support is on top of things. I'll go down here and I will see a little fire base right here to shoot us up, but it would be a nice opportunity. I also have my... You see the little swirling uh, circles around me. My cancel, this was up, so... Even if they saw me trying to harass, I could have gotten out. Since I'm sort of, you know, I can't really do a whole lot, I said go ahead and go back to base and summon some Fujis. It's the best thing you can do as a commando when you're sort of pushed up like that, since you can't really uh, dive a whole lot. The rocket tower is just too, uh, too tough to dive. Summon bots, go for, uh, go for bot kills. Just sort of wait it out. Yeah, just a sort of Killing bots down. Team's pushed up pretty good. Once again, just seeing if I can. I was thinking about it back there, but I realized that turret's still back there. I was considering trying to kill it right here. Watch out when you're lunging off the edges. Luckily, I had the. I'm used to killing myself, so I had foreknowledge of uh, hooking back up there. But yeah, if you lunge off a lunging off a, off an edge or onto a jump pad can give you a lot more boost than you think. It can kill you, but it can also be used to your advantage. It can get you on Loco Loco, lunging off jump pads near the Annihilator. It can take you across the whole uh, half the map real fast. If you want to catch up to somebody or just get away. And on this map, it can easily kill you. Yeah, once again, just trying to push up. We've got a Fuji coming in, so we're going to try to keep them alive. Hey, fans who brought their and at this point, one of our teams spawns a Jackpot. While we are pushed up pretty hard, and that gives the Jackpot a chance to get up here at full health, it's a very cocky move. It's a very risky move. Annihilator is almost up. Uh, this is a good team. They know how to deal with Jackpots. So it could be a feasible waste of, two, of Force Brand. Might be better just to... 
just to buy some juice and coordinate a stun on the turrets, but we take we take advantage of it. We do get turret down with it, but there might have been cheaper ways to do that. It was even a turret. Uh, I guess the jackpot probably its AI probably glitched. Still with some AI problems with bots. They said attack the wrong tower. I guess that jackpot attacked the opposite tower. But it did take a tower down. So it wasn't a total waste. Uh, but at times I feel jackpots are just a little too much of a putting all your eggs in one basket, and they don't. They're easily countered by juice, or easily countered by a lot of things, so it's risky. But turrets do go down, and eventually their yeah their bot their uh, money wall is going to go down. That's going to pretty much finish this game up here, as you see there. Despite losing you know annihilator one, uh, and getting only one really only really one annihilator in our favor, it's not the end all be all. So just keep that in mind. And. That is pretty much the end of this game. I hope you all learned something a bit more about how to deal with annihilators. I'm not saying normal annihilators, just uh, annihilators. Just uh, just keep in mind what's going on. And I hope to uh, see you all next time, and Woo! hope you enjoyed the video. Well, looks like the Icemen are the winners! Which is bad news for their fans, who are outnumbered 3-1 to one by the Hotshots Combat Hooligans waiting outside the arena right now.